Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today we will be discussing about the midpoint formula. So instead of deriving our midpoint formula, I have already provided to you the midpoint formula itself. Midpoint formula is just simply finding the middle of any given line. Okay, and this one would be the formula for any uh, distance between any points. Because if you would check, for example, I have this given point here and point here. Getting the midpoint is actually quite easy, okay? Because you will just simply get the middle, okay? Maybe you could count like 1, 2, 3. Also from here, 1, 2, 3. Therefore, this is the middle. This is the midpoint of the line. In this given line, this one is the midpoint, okay? Now, that would be easy for, uh, for horizontal and vertical lines. But what if we have these kinds of lines, okay? So, so, this is why we have... Uh, um, we have came or we have come up or uh, mathematicians have come up with uh, this formula wherein you will be given the point exact point for the middle of n the distance between any line uh, between any two points okay let me erase this one okay let's um, start with our uh, examples for example i want to find the distance between this point and this point so let's say this is your x sub 1 and this is i mean this is your point x and this is your point y for point x you need to get, just simply get the coordinate and the coordinate of point x is 2 and 2 for y the coordinate would be let me erase it a little bit y is um 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is 7 and 1 2 negative 2 okay so, finding the distance would be simple. Ganto lang po yung gagawin natin. Substitution lang po. We will assume that x would be our sub 1s. Okay? And our y would be our sub 2s. Okay? So, getting the midpoint would just simply be like this. Okay? Our x sub 1 is of course 2. Plus, simply 7 over 2. And, the um, comma, yung y natin is just simply, um, 2 plus negative 2 divided by 2 will give us the following value being 2 plus 7 is 9 over 2 and 2 minus 2 is 0 right 0 0 divided by 2 the answer is 0 and this should be the midpoint of x y and over 2 we can simplify this one as 2 4 6 8 um, 8 and 1 half so this would be 4.5 and 0 this is the midpoint of your line x and y. So plotting that point, it would be somewhere here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4.5 somewhere here. Oh, sorry, it's a white ink. So let's let's change it as the blue one. So here. And let's try to connect whether it is uh, really visibly the midpoint of that specific of that specific uh, of that specific point. Okay? So connecting this line. It's definitely the middle. Okay, it's definitely the middle. Um, visually inspecting our given. So it's definitely in the middle. And also, the coordinates are correct. It's 4.5 and 0. 0 kasi our y is on the origin. Okay? So, um, next one. Let's, uh, oh, okay. Let's have another example. Say we have, we are looking for the distance between this point. And let's uh, take some more far here. Okay, let's uh, say this is your point P and point P will have the coordinate for x as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 8 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, positive 6 and our point say um, E, this would be um, for x, 1, 2, 3, this is 3 and for y, it's just simply negative 9. So again, knowing the formula will give us the following e expression. Let me just delete this one. The, the midpoint of P and E naman, kasi it's not X, Y anymore. So we assume that for the P, our sub 1s, and for the E, our sub 2s. So this would be negative 8 plus 3 divided by 2, comma, we have for the Y, we have 6 plus negative 9 divided by 2 and then evaluating that one will give us with um, negative 8 plus 3 the answer is um, 5 negative 5 
divided by 2 and this one 6 plus negative 9 will give us negative 3 divided by 2. Um, let's simplify this one. Negative 5 divided by 2, the answer is negative 2.5. And this one is um, negative 1.5. So meaning the midpoint is in the um, somewhere in the third quadrant. So let's try to plot the midpoint. I mean, connect pala muna natin. Let's connect first the line. The two points, I mean. So, oops, not, not the partition plane. This one, okay. And a little bit. Okay, let's assume na, yeah, let's assume this one. Okay, so connecting them, these two points, yeah. So we have connect them, let's remove the ruler. The midpoint though is in 2.5 and negative 2.5 and negative 1.5. So it's negative 2.5 somewhere here. Negative 1.5 is somewhere here. So it would fall somewhere around if our line is correct negative 2.51 2.5 ah sorry it's 1.5 pala it's somewhere here yeah and it would fall somewhere here if i am correct and if we are correct and our graph is absolute then it would be somewhere here checking and it's definitely aligned naman therefore our given is in our uh, midpoint is on the middle of the line itself. Okay, therefore our answer is correct. So this blue point, this is our midpoint of P and E. And that is the midpoint formula. So you will notice uh, there's a constant number there which is uh, divided by 2. Because of course when you're getting the middle of any given line, you're just simply dividing the line into two equal parts. So divided by 2. So we will have midpoint of P, E being um, the sum of the coordinates of x divided by 2 comma the sum of all the coordinates of y divided by 2 and that would be for the midpoint formula it's, it's not rocket science it's not that hard so we will um, have our last example being not a graph point but just simply the coordinates of the point say we are looking for the midpoint of 4 and negative 3 and 6 and um, negative 1. So knowing these points, in a, this would be say our x sub 1 and y sub 1, x sub 2 and y sub 2. And the midpoint would just simply be the middle of these uh, two points. So we will just simply add the x values, 4 plus 6, and divide it by 2. And lastly, add the y values, negative 3, and plus negative 1, divided by 2. This would be our midpoint. And as for the midpoint, 4 plus 6 is 10 divided by 2. The answer is 5. And negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4 divided by 2. It's negative 2. And this would be our midpoint. So let's try to check. Is our um, answer correct? Raise muna natin to. Let's plot the points and let's check whether our answer for this given that is not graphed is correct based on the graph. So let's plot. 4 and negative 3, it's somewhere here. Yeah, somewhere here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3. Okay, good. And 6 and negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and negative 1. Yeah. The midpoint of this one is simply 5 and negative 2. 5 and negative 2, connect po muna natin to. Obviously, the midpoint is here, right? And if, let's try to check. This is 5 and negative 2. Therefore, our midpoint is correct. Okay, so again, may it be graphed or by inspection in our given Cartesian plane or just simply being given the point, you can find the midpoint of any given line. If you have any other questions, you can consult the video again, review it again, or you can chat me in our group. Thank you again for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.